Hey, it's Jacob. Every day we bring you the best videos around, and today we've got extreme surfing in the Arctic, the Kim Kardashian simulator. No sh Kim. And the perfect cure for a hangover. A mug of eggs. Now we're bloody talking. Really sketchy. As I'm sure that you've heard, right now the conflict between Israel and Palestine is the worst that it's been in more than five years. The area has been in a constant state of struggle for 40 years, but the violence that's going on right now is unparalleled. To catch you up, Vox just posted one of the best explainers we found. It started with the murder of three Israeli young men in the West Bank. Israel responded to this because it believed that the killings were done by Hamas operatives. It arrested a large number of Hamas people in the West Bank and launched airstrikes into Gaza. Since the first week of July, there have been over 600 deaths, the vast majority of which which have been Palestinian civilians. Vice News' Danny Gold is currently on the ground in the region and he's sending regular updates on the crisis. Last night, the ground invasion was announced. So we're gonna go sort of take the temperature along the border and uh, see if we can see exactly where the Israeli army is striking. One of the ways that we're staying up to date on what's going on is by following Vice News. Subscribe to get their on the ground dispatches. When you have a hangover, nothing is more important than breakfast. That and making a bunch of promises to yourself about how you're never gonna drink again. Matt Lees is known mainly for his gaming videos, but this simple and hilarious cooking tutorial has been picking up steam over the past couple days on Reddit. You will need some eggs, some cheese, some chilies, and a hangover. Chop the chili up and remove the seeds. There's gotta be a better way. Don't do this, this doesn't look safe at all. Three eggs is optimal. Don't be tempted to go mad. Don't go mad with the eggs. Why well, you gotta go mad with eggs? Just chill out. Everything is easier to understand when it's explained to you by a hungover person. Maybe if my high school math teacher drank a little bit more, I'd remember more than just the Pythagorean theorem. Some surfers are just constantly pushing themselves. They're testing out new waves, new dangers. Here's one for you, the Arctic Circle. Photographer Chris Burkard and three pro surfers went to the harshest surfing climate in the world and captured the intense beauty of sub-zero Norway for all of us to see. Photography for me was a release. I wanted to immerse myself in the beauty of what I was seeing with my own eyes. And I felt like it became this kind of symbiotic relationship that really was the perfect medium of expression for me. Smug Mug is a photo sharing website and they just launched this channel to showcase some of the world's most epic photographers like underwater photographer Sarah Lee and YouTube's own Devin Supertramp. What if I'm the world's greatest Rubik's Cube solver, but a terrible speller? Could anyone say I was intelligent or not based on those different aptitudes, or would it be more accurate to measure my brain power on several different scales? In the newest Crash Course Psychology, Hank Green takes us through a brief and fascinating history of the different theories of intelligence. And while some of the research is responsible for contemporary open-minded teaching methods and practice today, there were some missteps along the way. He suggested that our smarts have a lot to do with heredity, so if we encourage smart people to breed with each other, we could essentially essentially create a master race of geniuses. If that sounds a little sketchy, it's because it was like really, really sketchy. I think we can all improve our intelligence by watching a little more Crash Course. Photo shoots, glamorous parties, beefing on Twitter, all in a day's work for the modern celeb, and now it's at your fingertips, thanks to Kim Kardashian. Mashable just released this Let's Play video to give you a taste of her new mobile game where you play an aspiring D-lister determined to reach pseudo-celeb status. Can you help me find something? I wish I had more time. Hmm, I like both of these. What do you think, the silver dress or the red dress? How much is it? I can only select no charge. Not a lot of choice in Kim Kardashian's Hollywood. Everybody is talking about this game. It soared to the top of the app chart since it launched last month. It has got eight times as many reviews as the latest version of Instagram. Have you played it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let us know in the comments. Every Wednesday is Woman Crush Wednesday here at YouTube Nation, and I am so excited to present someone that everyone here absolutely adores, only Lee, also known as Lee LaHoff. Lee is a Jerusalem-based animator and comedian who got her start on YouTube in 2013. It's her very popular pop culture animations that have gotten the attention of blogs and shows all over the world, but one of my all-time favorite videos she's ever done is Sherlock Spoils Everything. He's the killer, she's the mother, they were dead all along. Sherlock, can you deduct how much I hate watching watching TV with you? Of course. I wrote a Tumblr post about all of the reasons that I'm in love with Lee. You can find it here or in the description below. If you got a woman crush you wanna share, let us know in the comments with the hashtag WCW. Now play us out, Jess Glynn. Right here, you got me where you want me.